So welcome to another video, the one good road here. Today I thought I would uh, give you a bit of a first impressions or an overview on this uh, solar panel, this flexible solar panel that I got from EcoWorthy. It is a 130 watt panel, got the brand name here, EcoWorthy. And uh, I'm just gonna give you my overall impressions on it so far. And uh, we're gonna run a few tests on it and just see uh, what we can get. Uh, so I've got, uh, I'll show you what I've got set up here. I've just put up the cardboard it came with to get a good decent angle. It's pretty much flush, so the shadow is pretty much straight behind it. Um, it is hot today, that will affect the numbers. If it were 25 degrees and, which it's not, if it was 25 degrees Celsius, then I would get a better reading. Um, today it is about 30, close to 35 right now, and I think we're going to have a high of 40. So yeah, it's pretty warm and panels don't like heat. So we have got this EcoWorthy panel. This is the 130 watt one. We'll find out what it's like. Firstly, packaging's quite nice. I'm quite happy about that. It's quite rigid. It's not, it's not bending at all. It's nice and rigid. That's good. So this is the other side. Um, so we'll just get her out. Okay. We can have a look around. This seems to be the other side. It's incredibly light and you can see this, it's on top of a, a standard Renergy panel. So you can see the difference in size there. Those are 47 centimeters, I think, or something. And then these are, this one's 69. And yes, I'm, I'm aware that flexible panels are technically less durable than, than solid rigid panels. But for my application, where I'm thinking about making a solar bike, this was the lightest option and it has the eyelets on it and everything. Um, I like the fact that it's white and not black. That keeps it cooler so it doesn't keep, you know, keeping its heat. That's one of the reasons why these panels can fail quicker. And I'm going to be using this kind of like on and off. It's not going to be a permanent panel that I leave in one position all the time. But I think you could leave this on top of a van for five, maybe ten years, and it might work. Um, but I have heard that these panels are not as durable as regular rigid panels, which is why I have a bunch of rigid panels. Like even, even these ones over here, these are secondhand panels, and they're more durable. Um, these are 245 watt panels they're old but they still work and then over here just for another comparison we've got uh, eco worthy 170 watt panels we've got some energy panels on the right of that okay those are 100 watt panels each on the right 170 watt on the left eco worthy again we can then see that this is a 130 watt panel so let's perform some tests uh, i'm just going to simply plug in the voltmeter and I just did it recently. I'm gonna put it on 200. So just in case anybody's interested, I'm reading 22.5 volts in full sunlight uh, on one panel. Um, now, if you have a long cable, let's say five meters long, this will affect the voltage. I don't have one available on me right now, but I'm pretty sure that would drop the voltage maybe down to about, I don't know, 18. It kind of depends on the length of the cable. Um, so keep that in mind, you'll get some line losses, that's normal. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the, the wattage, because I've got a portable power station from Fossibot here, the F800. It's pretty damn close to 90, which for a 130 watt panel, I would say that's not the best rating. But I would say again, it's usually due to the fact that it's so hot and... Now if I cover my hand on one cell, you can see it dropped down to 61. And I'm, co I'm covering my hand just over one cell, basically, roughly. So that's like one cell there. Okay, gives you an idea of shading. Oh, it's dropped down to 50. Yeah, so it drops down to 50 with one cell covered, just so you're aware. And if I bring it back, I get the full 
close to 90. Honestly, if I poured some water on this, I'm pretty sure if you cool panels down, then you'll get a better reading. This is the maximum that I'm getting when I put water on it. It's going up a bit. So as I cool it down, it's definitely helping it. Yeah, this is the maximum reading. I think we had 96. There it is, 96 watts. Yeah, I'm putting quite a bit of water on. Trying to cool it down. Anyway, that's the test. Um, so it does function and it will work well for charging my e-bike battery, I think. Probably not while riding because the, you have to have the panel constantly in good sunlight. Um, one thing on the panel, I don't understand why they put the two plugs coming into the um, junction box here. Why did they put it on the side facing the sun? That doesn't really make sense to me because you get the, the UV damage coming onto this side. Now on the, on the plus side, the other surface, the other side of this panel is flat. So that kind of makes sense. Um, but I would have liked to have seen something a bit more protective. I might want to put something on there because it, it will get after many, 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 many years that that'll get more UV damage than I would like. But also the panel's super lightweight. So if I turn it around, right, we've got the panel facing the other way now. I can confirm uh, that the dimensions are correct. It's 69 by 96 centimeters. Yeah. Um, this is what it says on the back for the specification. It shows you the, the size. I like it actually how it shows quite a bit of the information. It says it's two kilos in weight, so it's a very lightweight panel, and it's just basically a giant plastic board on the back. Um, uh, I haven't gotten the maximum amperage today. I think that's because it's so hot. I have gotten close to the voltage, so that's pretty accurate. Um, but I haven't gotten this 130 watt rating. I mean, uh, I think the uh, yeah, it says it was tested at 25 degrees Celsius, and we've got much hot, much much hotter than that, about about 35, 38 degrees Celsius. Let me know what you think in the comments if that's a panel that I mean for the money, even 90 watts for 60 euros, I think it was for a panel of this size and this rating is pretty good. They might, you might be interested to know how much it flexes and I'm not prepared to flex it like crazy because I've heard that that's super bad for the panels to flex them, but it does have some give to it. So if I pick it up, you see, it does have some flex to it. Anyway, that is my overall first impressions on this uh, panel from EcoWorthy. Let me know what you think. Uh, leave your comments down below. And uh, yeah, that's it on the EcoWorthy 130 watt, but probably a bit less than that, uh, panel. But super lightweight and excellent value for money. Super good value for money.